Did you know that humans can't feel wet? What do you mean by that? Your brain picks up wetness from other cues. Like we don't have the sense receptors to feel if stuff is wet. So like if you sit down on like a cold chair, like with your skin making contact, mm -hmm. like you could mistakenly think it's wet. Hmm. That's interesting. So we don't know what wet feels like. Do other animals feel wet? There are some animals that do. They have like humidity receptors where they're able to actually pick it up. One of those animals, fish. So they're, I wonder if they could feel dry. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes, because I think the, it would be no humidity, I guess. Wow. But they can, so like a cold towel, if you like felt just a cold towel, you wouldn't be able to tell if it's wet or if it's cold. That's crazy. Because yeah. I just felt my laptop. My laptop was cold. And if I close my eyes and think if it's cold or wet, you can't really tell. Can't tell. But obviously, I know it's cold. You don't, You could walk through a puddle. And if it didn't have the sound and it was just strictly off feel, it would just be a change in temperature. Same thing when you sweat. If it's hotter, your sweat comes out hot, I think, or you're giving off heat. Like You can't feel the sweat as wet. It's just a different temperature than what you're experiencing. That's so interesting. It's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. I never knew that. And Yeah, and you could I'm trick happy your, you told me that. That's you interesting. Could, you could trick your brain like you just did. That's interesting. That's a that's, that's a wild one. All right, I got some random. This I have no correlation to. No, that's fine. We're, we're the these. king of transmission. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> we're the king of transitions. Transitions, not transmissions. Transitions. Do not bring your car here. No, don't bring your car here. <laughs> or any electrical um, engineered. Yeah, vehicle. no, don't. Um, electrical. I don't know what I'm saying. 